Here at Arid Tea Manufacturing, we made quite the array of custom trophies and awards. We use Odoo CRM to manage all of our deals and connect supply chain operations like procurement and manufacturing. Since the CRM is part of Odoo's larger ERP ecosystem, our sales teams are directly connected to what's going on on the warehouse and manufacturing floors. It's really quite amazing how it all comes together. Let's take a look. Welcome to the CRM pipeline, where we manage all of our sales opportunities. By default, we see all of the opportunities assigned to me, along with all of the stages we set up to indicate valuable milestones in our sales cycle. At a glance, we can see total expected revenue and what's in progress for the whole stage, as well as any essential information like activities planned or deal priority. When we use the various filters and group buys in the search bar, we can organize opportunities by sales teams and salespeople, for starters. And if we go a step further with custom filters, we can generate a lot of useful insights. Like this expected revenue report, which helps our sales managers forecast targets for the reporting period. Oh, here we go. There's a new opportunity that just came in and was assigned to me. It looks like they reached out through our website, which is so helpful since all the information they shared populates right here on the opportunity form. We set up a number of automations beforehand so incoming ops get routed to the correct teams with the proper tags and priorities assigned, like these, as well as certain timed activities that are necessary to qualify a warm lead, like these here in the chatter section. I want to get started on our new lead right away, so I'll send a message to the prospect right from the chatter. Here are a few options to choose from, including an email or a WhatsApp message. I think I'll start with an email message first, using a qualified lead template that I prepared ahead of time. With the template loaded, I'll just customize it slightly for a finishing touch, and off it goes. Now, based on what was shared with us, here in the description tab, it looks like they're looking for a few sets of our standard products. No problem, let's get a quote ready for them. We'll just click this new quotation button here and Odoo takes us to a new quotation form already pre-filled with the leads information. Let's use a quotation template we already have set up for projects like this. Saves me a bunch of time because look at that, the order lines fill out automatically, organized into sections. I'd actually like to move this item to its own section. There we go. The prospect indicated that they need product sets for three groups, so we'll match the quantities accordingly. They also said there will be about 500 attendees and to add a 20% buffer to that total just in case. So let's adjust that too. Ah, looks like we're low on inventory for this one. That means a reordering rule will trigger later once this quote is confirmed, but I'll give manufacturing a heads up anyway. Okay, the quote looks good here. So let's check out what the customer would see using the web view. Hey, that's pretty nice. Now let's take a look at the PDF view. Since we use Odoo's PDF quote builder, the quote shows off our own branding nicely and includes some contextual product information while incorporating the line items from the quote we just built. All right, we're all set to send it when we hear back. Out of curiosity, let's see how this opportunity found us. It looks like they came in through a paid search ad I remember marketing mentioned they were going to run some new campaigns. This must be one of them. I wonder how the larger campaign is going. Let's run a win-loss report to see. First, let's get out of my pipeline and then use the shared filter that marketing prepared for us. If we click into the filter, we see that it's broken down by region, UTM parameters, and lead status. Oh, just a quick adjustment here. And let's run it. Next, let's group by stage and switch over to the list view, where we can see lead totals across the pipeline stages. Some quick back of the napkin math here, and it seems like our one rate is pretty good here. I am curious though, are there any meaningful differences across sales teams for these leads? Let's switch over to the pivot table to find out. Ah, oh, interesting. Our enterprise team doesn't seem to be receiving as many of these leads as the other teams. I'm sure marketing would love to know that too. Oh, this looks like the prospect we emailed earlier. Hold on, let me take this. What a great call. 
turns out they want to add another item to their order to commemorate someone receiving an award. Now we can mark the lead to proposition since we're about to send the quote. And remember the quote we were working on earlier? We get back to it by clicking this Smart button. And there it is. We'll just add the new item to the order lines along with a note for the customization. And we'll throw in a free gift too, because a little kindness goes a long way. Looks good now, so we'll send by email. The status updates automatically, and we also see, here in the chatter, a copy of the email we just sent with a PDF attachment of the quote. That looks nice. Hopefully they sign. While we're waiting on confirmation, I'd like to see if my sales teams are following up on all of their active leads. We set up a series of automations for every stage so that salespeople can stay on track with their to-dos and deals close on time. With this unattended leads report, we can see if any opportunities in the pipeline need attention. It looks like there's a number of ops that could use some follow-ups for this team. To make it easier for them, I'll save and share the report so they can access the same filters I used. Hopefully that helps them out and we can cut down on wait times for the customer. Speaking of customers, let's take another look at the lead we've been nurturing so far. Ah, there's a new order smart button, which means they approve the quote. Great. If we click into that, we'll see the approval here in the chatter, along with the new supply chain operations attached to the sales order. Looks good. So I'll let the supply chain teams handle it from here. Let's mark this lead as one, and a few more automated activities pop up for me to check later, like sending an invoice to the customer. Those reminders are tucked away right here in my activities menu for later, so I can rest easy for a minute. Huh, maybe not. Here's a new message from one of my salespeople. Seems like they're not getting enough good leads. This is a really common thing I hear, so let's confirm it with a lead distribution report. Once again, we have a saved search filter we can use, so let's load that up. You can see there are a lot of filters we use to pull this report. Let's confirm, and then switch over to the graph view since that will give us a nice visual breakdown of the leads organized by salesperson. Hmm, we can see here that it does appear as though some salespeople have more leads than others, not counting managers of course who focus on our bigger deals. But we'll want to verify this, so let's include all of the lost leads for each salesperson's pipeline as well, so we're not just looking at the active ones. Ah, this tells the full story. We can see here that our salespeople have actually received a similar amount of leads. It's just that some are moving through their pipes faster than others, albeit with varying success. Now that we have that information, what other opportunities are waiting for us? We already saw how to create quotes and track leads to the sales pipeline, communicate with customers and other teams, and run reports of all kinds to tell the story of our business. And these are only just a few ways to use Odoo CRM. What will you discover? Odoo, because amazing employees deserve amazing software.